Welcome to another episode of Ankle Saw and our review of round 16. If you're enjoying our channel as much as we enjoy making videos, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It would really help us out. Vito, how are you? Angelo, Andrew. Oh, Andrew. What's happening? How are you going? I'm healthy now. It's good. Yeah, it's good. You got your kick of local footy yesterday? Got, got my kick of local footy. And, um, Did you just win? One, one, oh, one by 40 points. 11, 11 and zip now. Regulation victory. So uh, anyway, the longer you go to, you know, the more you win, the closer you get to the last. Adelaide's won Don't want to, don't want to get to the final round and be undefeated. No, probably not. True. Anyway, um, let's talk. First of all, the boys are over. We know that. Ah, uh, put that picture of Fukushima up again. <laughs> but like, I'm just thinking about it. Usually it's six, 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 mm. and three weeks. Mm. This year it was four. Uh, it was, teams yeah, it was all over the shop. Had the buy, then two teams had the buy, and then then two sixes. So it was a four week yeah. thing, right? Yeah, that 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 round that Geelong and there was only Gold two. Coast had the buy. So what's going on there? Uh, us, the Australian Football League, the Amateur Football League, AFL, Amateur yeah. Football, Amateur yeah. Football, amateur yeah. football amateur League. Football, we've got a bit more true. to say about a couple of the games. But anyway, anyway. Um, and having said that, only six of the eighteen teams won off the back of a buy. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah, interesting. Yep. Um, so let's get on to Thursday night footy at the Gabatoire. And uh, Brisbane did what they – well, they did more than what they had to do. 2014-134, whacked Richmond 7-11-53. Boys, I told you, the skis will be out in force and they will whack them. Yep. You go, oh, you guys are Richmond. Lockie Neal, 34 touches, down to her five goals. The small forwards were handfuls, McCarthy, Bailey, Cameron. Mate, they ran ragged all night. You forgot one. Who's the other one? McCluggage. I was about to mention him. Third, him no, and sorry, Ashcroft. Him and Ashcroft. I've said this before. He's a beauty. Ashcroft? Oh, he's a oh, beauty. Yeah. Does he win the Rising Star? Yes. I think so. So far, I think so. Yeah, he's got to. He's got yeah, to. Yeah, I think um, so. He's, the game. he's a beauty. McCluggage killed him. 34 possessions? But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you, I'll tell you just before. Sorry. I'll tell you who had a 20-possession game, and it was a ripping game for a 20-possession game. I mean, 20 possessions is nothing to sneeze at. Dunkley. Yeah. Uh, he was so good in that game. He went head-to-head -head with Taranto. Yeah, and beat, just, him. And beat him. But he's just hard. See, Taranto's effect, efficiency no. was 28. Mm. That's low. Now. Up. It's not great at the best Conversely, time. McCluggage's efficiency was 88. Yeah, well, that's Massive. how you win games. That's right. right. And McCluggage's foot skills, because we've been talking about his foot skills all year. Oh, how, goal how, he's goal kicking. Yeah. goal kicking. He's he's true. He hits targets. But just, he's, in, he's, yeah, right. go on, go he's improved. Oh, definitely. But I was going to say, just go on the other side of it for a minute. Rewalt, no influence. Bolton, 18 touches of nothing. Mm. Um, Dusty, you we spoke about that. I reckon he was a loss. You're right. Oh, Just no, no. As soon as I knew he was out, that was They weren't going to win, but... It doesn't matter. Yeah, you say that in hindsight, but there is no chance without him. Nah, but I... The no. chance they had was the yeah. one, him, Bolton, you know, these guys. The one bloke I'll take my head off to is Vlosten. He tried hard all night and early on oh, sort of kept them alive. Oh, he does, but he was really good. So, But barring that, like I said, the small forwards of Brisbane... They're on ball brigade. They're just too good, mate. Especially at the Gabba. And your you, your mates, both of your, you got Jaden Short hamstring really hurt. Yeah, kicked a no love another oh, lovely goal. Kicked 60 it's the Jaden Short fan club. Uh, no, I love he, him. Love seriously, him. he's the best striker of the ball. Yeah, he is. Uh, not far. Maybe off Maybe that's his, why he did his hamstring. <sighs> he did his left one though. But anyway, um, not yeah, far behind. His follow uh, through done his hamstring. Two yeah. two things. Oh, one's an apology. And um, the other one mm, is just apology. a stat. So Brisbane seven and seven from at the Gabba, seven wins. Who are you apologising to? You first? just very very small. It's very small. Four. Kadan Coleman. What about him? It actually is Kadan. Yeah, I, I, cor I corrected you what last you week. I, I said no, it's Kaden. Oh, Kaden. Yeah, no. it's just Kaden. But it is. It's Kadan Colt. It's, it is. Kadeen Colt. So I apologise. I accept your apology, but no need to apologise over a nothing footballer. But anyway. Oh, come on. He was he was, he was okay. actually good. You know, he had like... He, had, he was okay. He was. He was actually good. He's another one I was going to mention. Okay. You know who's game. pretty good too, who looks like a nothing out of the street as a prize winner, is Wilmot. No, yeah. I like Wilmot. I yeah. like, How good is he? Oh, smart. Yeah, I think he's, he's got the smarts. Well, well, what do you think of Richmond? Like, do you... I think... You never thought, oh, that might be back. I think... No, it's, it's done. It's over. It's over It's over, isn't it? It's over. Yeah, revival's done. They had their little revival. Dusty didn't play. They lost. They had to win this game for any. They did. Is it going to be a few lean years coming up? I think. Oh, that's my oh, opinion. Possibly. I look at some good kids. I like um, Justin Clark's got some. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. But just remember one thing, mate. Mm. They had the, one of the top five players of all time at yeah, his absolute best. 
Do you know what I mean? But they're not falling to bottom four type yeah, yeah. stuff, no, no. are they? I didn't say that. No, All I said yeah. was they're gonna. I reckon they're gonna be around the eleven, twelve, and just sit around there for a few years. That's they'll be, they'll be, they'll be annoying because, like you know, Lynch yeah, will come back annoying. next year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you know, and, and Bolter, be there, Bolton, Bolter, yeah. Bolter's good up back. He holds them and, together. You know, like Shorts Grimes. improves the other yeah, side. Still, Ross, still okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But oh, I think, Decently. I think they're no threat. That's yeah, no, yeah. They're not no threat. You're right. So anyway, let's get on to Friday night footy. Sydney Swans, Geelong. <laughs> well, there's a bit to talk about this game. That was can, at the just, SCG. Just tell tell everyone the score first. Sydney 6-18-54. Drew with Geelong 7-12-54. These two teams have met two... What's wrong? <laughs> oh, this is going to be five minutes of time I'll never get back in my life. Really? No, 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 it'll be really? F- I've got eight a- seconds. <laughs> Where's he going? Oh. Uh, 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 I've only got a cramp or something. I refuse to you talk seriously want to rubbish? Yeah, I, this is my point. I was going to go up and just. I was going to go and play with your dog. I don't know. Over chat this to your dog. This whole page is about the game. Okay. Well, <laughs> spill spill the beans, mate. Please. Really? What have you got in your notes? Nothing. Oh, I've got a, I've got a bit of notes here. Just, I just I really nothing. thought I'd said something wrong or offended him or I was racial. Oh no, no, I was actually going to go and talk to the dog and have a chat. <laughs> Two teams. I was talking to the dog about the game before. <laughs> <laughs> Two teams that oh, have no Lord. interest in scoring, trying to oh, win my football. Oh my lord! Yeah. As a draw. Saying that Sydney but, did, but they just couldn't do it. I just wanted to talk about the fact that they'd played 272 times yep. since 1908 or 1897. Yep. And um, they've never had a draw. So okay. it's the first time Sydney South Melbourne's had a draw with Geelong. Really? First time. Sydney Geelong's got a bit of a history of um, Sydney Geelong games. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, buddy, well, yep. the Buddy thing, yep. the Nick Dacos final. Nick- Dave, Nick Dacos. Dick Dacos. Dacos. Jeez. Nick Dacos. Must Dave have been ringing about him or yeah. something. Yeah. The Dacos. Um, uh, that, so well, is there any other Sydney Geelong stuff that we could it's got history that we remember or am uh, I just trying to pull a rabbit out of a hat here? History? Sydney yeah, Geelong? yeah, Sydney Geelong, yeah. Grand final last year. A belting? I forgot about that. When Sydney did Yeah, it doesn't up. exist. Did that, did yeah, that happen yeah, really? That's why I, I forgot about that. Memory. Yeah, but I'll, I'll just say that. in that game. It's like Back to the Future in the in the paper, <laughs> whether it raced from the <laughs> Fox, Papley, Hickey. My Lord. How long have you been playing footy for? They, that game should have been yeah. three of the worst Spot misses I've ever seen. Hickey's two misses were oh, horrendous. horrendous. Robbie Fox, mate. Yeah, Robbie Fox, post. He threw me to that plane away. Are you serious? That, were, that was Horrendous bad. kicking Sydney full stop. Just before you go on with kicking, what do you think of Heaney's kick over shot? It was tough. Tough, but... I mean, because it's him, I'll defend him, but I won't defend him. Nah. Look, for me, uh, I these two teams, they might as well just go on holidays now. No yeah. threat. They will uh, not even – even yeah. if Geelong make finals, it's a waste of time. I just time. want to mention, I know we, get, we have a crack at this bloke, me and you do more, because he's a lizard, right? Blakey. But oh, he was really. very, very good. He's, he's 29 good touches. No, no, he is. And I'll tell you who else was good. And oh, he's been good all year. I know he sort of went backwards at maybe last year. Callum Mills was really good again. Yeah. 24 touches. Mm-hmm. Tom Stewart and Tui. Mate, if it wasn't for them two, my oh, Lord. Tui was tremendous. Where are we so going? So was Tom Stewart. Where are we going if Zach Tui is he's tremendous? Good player, Zach Tui, mate. But Je- Geelong, yeah, I think we'll talk about that. Geelong, Geelong, I think Geelong's had it. Well, if it wasn't for Sydney, because early Sydney were just bullet-like. Mm. They just didn't get it on the board. And then late, like Geelong worked themselves back in it, but Sydney were a five-goal better side they all night. They kicked 18 behinds, whatever it was, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Were they five-goal better side all night? Bit, three or oh, four. Bit, four bit, mate, side, better side. Better side But 6 18, what, 24 shots, realistically, and this is not just thrown, should have been at least 12-12 game over. Let me six yeah, absolute saves. Yeah, absolutely. But anyway. Absolutely. Not much else. Sorry, nah, sorry. That, that, it, it's a waste talking about Okay. That, so. Don't worry about that then. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> I said it's all you, mate. It's no, all let's you. just go on. We'll go, oh, well, yeah, we go no. on to the next day. No, that's sure? it. I'm done. You sure they want you to give us some uh Yeah, I, I want to hear what you got here. to say. I haven't. No, I've got that. No, that was it just looked good. Oh, actually. All right. <laughs> Only because of your walkout. It just shocked me. Oh, I was going to have a chat to the dog while you talk about this garbage. Brilliant. Saturday afternoon, Adelaide 21-12, 138, beat North 11-6, <sighs> Was scores were... Okay. Within a goal in that second quarter. Very competitive first half. No doubt. Nine goals to eight. Up to the about, this is, don't quote me on the time exactly, 23 minute mark. Mm -hmm. And then they went three goals in five minutes. And that was the end. I knew then. Young midfield, had a crack, looked okay. We've spoken about the midfield north. Can't sustain it, mate. We know that already. Sheasel, Scott, Thomas, Wardlaw, all the kids were good. 
Although he's going to need time, no doubt. But I, so uh, it was uh, underdone. One thing I need to say, you're right about this bloke, because I, I never, until you mentioned it, I thought, something's not right with number 12. Yeah. Simkin, Simkin. Simkin uh, I know you've got a fair bit of the ball. He's just not right. His decision, I don't know if the captaincy is yeah, not captaincy's for him. Gone, it's I'm just not, not sure. He's not a, yeah. I asked uh, you this off air, well, yesterday, the day before. Joyce Simkin, does he need to get. 35 percent, you know, yeah, you did say to, that to be you, effective. Yeah, you know, yeah. you talk about players that go, Oh, you know, he could have 35. Does That's he need that. a lot of possessions to yeah. actually, yeah, generate probably? 15 probably. Good ones? I just, you know, my opinion on him is this is my exact opinion. I reckon he's a good player. The captaincy, I think he thinks I've got to do it all. He's going to try too hard, yeah, no. yeah. Go back to what you're but doing because he was good last year. He might year. learn that, perhaps. Just the Maybe. other now, on the other hand, the other end, well, first thing that third quarter that's completely lost their marbles and lost their way. They'll beat. But Walker, quite early, got on top, and Rankin destroyed them at stages, right? McDonald tried to go with him. No. What was that? What was that matchup? Fogarty four goals. And you know what? One of the And you write about their forward line, one of the best forward lines in the AFL. The best. The best, anyway. okay? Yeah. And That's I'll tell you what, Walker. they've got one of the best captains, right? Jordan Dawes. Yep. 28 touches, but he's you can see him going. Dude, he's, he's just a good captain. Oh, he's a lovely user. And he's a beautiful oh, user of the football. So if Adelaide, Adelaide, and I said to you guys in the preview last week, 10 goals. 11 it goals. was. We said it that. Was 10 goals, yeah. So in the end, very disappointing because I'm nine goals to eight, having a crack, and I thought, they're not going to win. I knew they weren't going to win. But to just capitulate like that, I'm starting to get they sick give of it. I'm getting sick of it. It's too hard for it. Yeah, I'm just getting sick of it. Anyway, that's my take on that. Just on Dawson, last week he made the decision against Collingwood. He made his own decision to go forward and restructure his own forward line. They asked um, Nicks after the game. He said, oh, no, that was his complete great decision. Cap- great captain. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Just re-jug- or just rejig that forward line. Probably should have got a free kick. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Absolutely, that was probably a free kick. But yeah. not, not just a great um, captain. He's a, like you said, a be- he good has footballer, mate. He he's the most – he's underrated. Very underrated. As a captain, as well, a player. In the or is he getting it now? Well, in as the words a player, of, he's always good, but I think he's getting starting to get – Yeah. Just, in the yeah. words of Doug Bigelow, was it? Doug, <laughs> he's a beautiful footballer. No, that's Doug Haywood. Doug Haywood, Doug sorry. Haywood. Doug Haywood. Doug Bigelow, Juice Bigelow. Doug Haywood, sorry. Is that is that his word? Yeah. Yeah, he's a beautiful and he is. He's balanced and he's yeah, usage, he's, he's everything. Good. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's that term you've got to reserve for certain players, don't you? Yeah, and he's one of them. Yeah, he's, he's, one of them. he's composed. He's yeah. one of them. What yes. do you got to, did you, anything you got to say on that? I've got nothing what, to say you about sort of, you, No, but do you agree or not? I agree. And I've got nothing to say about them. Are you sick of Just what Just like I'm, I said about Collingwood last week, boring. Yeah, North's got to do something different, don't they? Oh, he wants uh, – Alistair. Alistair. There you go. Alistair. You know Alistair? Yeah, go on. I have a huge problem, Ange. With North I actually Melbourne. do have a problem. I'm going to see the dog. Uh, you know. With North <laughs> Melbourne. <laughs> oh, how's this Alistair Clarkson thing going to work? I don't like it. It's not. It doesn't make sense, it, it, does it? It's, it's actually... Oh, it, what do you mean it doesn't make sense, though? It's a mess. How do yeah. you take eight weeks off pr- from professional football to go, I need a break? I need a break means what? Uh, what's his name did. Hardwick. Hardwick and... I need a break. I'm done. I can't coach, mate. I know I signed a five-year deal. I get it. Everyone gets it. Yeah. You can't just walk away and come back as you please. Yeah, that's fair. I agree. I agree. I I just don't think it's the right thing for North. But do you reckon Rat – I don't think Rat would want to do it. It doesn't seem like he's – Maybe he's – Okay. Can I I pose this? Why didn't he wait until the – let this year go. Let it go. Mm. Come back. Perhaps. Perhaps. Just let it go. Let it roll on as it's rolling on. Right. So they seem to be doing okay. Yeah. They seem to be liking the environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, he's going to come in. They're going to tense up again. And I think that's the worst thing that can happen for North Melbourne at the moment. Yep. Personally. Yeah, I agree. No, I, you I reckon these agree. players are going to be panicking? There we are. Well, panic yeah, maybe, stations. Maybe. Maybe. I, I just don't There's like it. There's a couple. You, uh, that is interesting. I, I think um, this is not. I'm not backing the coaches. I'm not backing Hardwick and Clarkson what he did, but. Mm. Us in our in our worlds, yeah. You're at work and you go, you know what? I reckon I'll take four weeks off and go to Bali. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I reckon I'll go to Hong Kong. And you can do that. You can say to your boss, "Taking four weeks off in three weeks and, time." And sorry to interrupt you, but in these days you can just go mental health. You can use whatever you want. Let's be honest. No, you can take annual leave. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah but I'm saying if you're not, well, up, yeah, whatever. But anyway, yeah, I know what you mean. Yep. Mm. And hard week and Clarkson needed time off. Coaches can't just go. I need four rounds off. Oh, well, they get. Nah. I need to step away. They get six weeks at the end of the year. Just saying. True. True. The it's not an excuse. Gets four weeks. It's not an excuse, but it's like Hardwick. He needed his time off there and then. 
He sounds like he's ready to coach next week. Yeah. He's had his And he'll be back. Weeks. He'll be back. Don't you worry yeah, about that. Next year. Again, now, you've made the decision and that's yeah, it. Now, having Wait, said that, Clarkson didn't have a five-year deal, I reckon we'd be a chance to get him, to be honest. Who? Hardwick. Hardwick. Yeah. I do. Oh, Mate, yeah. Rats is going all right. But anyway. Now, oh, I love him. I and love here's him. another um, love rats. Like another scenario. I don't get why, yeah, he's had his time off. Yeah, he wants to come back. Yep. He's going to be incorporated this week. Yeah. In doing what? Game picking plan, up picking up which, and then yeah. next week is going to be in incorporated office. in the office, and then week three is going to be incorporated. To, that's all HR crap. Yeah. yeah. If you're coming back, get in the box. Come back and coach. Let's go. That's it. Let's go. Don't Let's give me this yep. three week ease in. Yeah. It's all about WH and this, whatever it's called. That's right. And all that other stuff, like you said. Yeah, it's, they don't, yeah, exactly. yeah, well, it doesn't work in AFL. No. I don't no. think so. so you want to come back. That's why you should have waited to the end of the year. You want to come back. Thanks for keeping the chair warm, Brett. No problem. I mean, you've done a great, yeah, you've done done a very a great job. job. Great job. Yeah. Sit by my side and let's, let's finish go. the year off. And let's go. Yep. So, I, I anyway. Agree. I anyway. just don't like it. But anyway, I yeah, that's all I've got to say about that. All right. At Marvel Stadium at the exact same time that North Adelaide game was getting played, the Bulldogs 16-6-102 beat Frio 11-7-73. <laughs> Is that school? He's back at school. I went first dibs on this one. I'm That's sick of this student. <laughs> no, no. I'm going to go toilet. <laughs> All he does is put his no, hand up. We I'm going to go, go toilet. I'm going to ignore him. <laughs> but first, Frio hit the front with seven minutes to go and the dogs kicked the last five goals of the game. Yep. Now the floor is open. <laughs> uh, Fremantle Football Club. <laughs> I know he's going to talk. You know he's going to talk. He about gets it. Do you understand what he's going to yeah. talk about? Yeah. You know Nathan, Mr. Fife of all hacks, and Mr. Walters. For another two. Walters did okay. Kick four goals. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He kicked some important. No, no problem. I still wouldn't have signed him for another two years. No right? way. Anyway, go. Nathan Fife. If you didn't know who he was, right, and you watch that game, you'd go, "This is one of the worst players He's ever right. to pull on a football boot." So if you brought over someone from so Mars, he only wore one boot. <laughs> Yeah, football boot. <laughs> That's why he can't that's play. Why. He can't play he's, one boot. He's unbalanced. He's running around in circles. Mate, he's unbalanced. Mate. <laughs> well, that would explain why he didn't make the distance from 30 metres out. Because he used the he used his sock. Yeah, That's incredible, have. isn't it? 30 metres out. What's going on there? Nah, he looks shot. But he did shot. that last week or the week before he as well. He shot it. He did not make the distance. I That's could handle bad. that distance. That's bad. He That's shot. a fact, actually. Yeah. I've done it before. <laughs> anyway, um, just ask Mark Safar. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so- Fremantle, geez, they're a poor football club. They they just have no desire. I've got a few things to Matt. go forward. I don't know. I, I just don't see the urgency in Fremantle. Yeah, they, they blew a big opportunity, didn't they? Hundred percent. I mean, Bulldogs play okay, but they'll they'll there for the taking. Yeah. you know, like seriously, you want to play finals, Fremantle? It's not the way they go about it. No, it's not. It's they not. Had a lot of patches where they'll just slow football, like they always do. Came to bite them on the arse. Uh, That's it. I'll tell you who Simple who destroyed them in the clinches when, when you said that score, they kicked the last. 70, this isn't for the whole game. 70 touches between them. Bont, McRae and Libba. Bont, right? Bont and Libba yeah. are sensational. Yeah, and McRae, I mean, you know. Well, we, I think he, 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 No, no. Okay. What I'm saying is, I know what we think of him because he's, he's no, disposable. But, he was all, okay, but, but he got a lot of it. Hugo Hagen was tremendous. Tremendous. Mm. Kicked Hugo four? Hagen, yeah, kicked yeah. four too. Now, just on Freya quickly, a miss kicked four goals. I know he's a good kid. I think he's, he's a good, good footballer. Good kid. But when Walters kicks four goals, that's a problem because – Well, yeah. Mate, so they kicked 11 and two have kicked eight. You're gone. That's right. You know uh, my theory on Carlton kicking 12 and goals. I'm and I'm led to be- – look, they were belted early for hours as well. Yeah, like yeah, they worked yeah. themselves back yeah, in. Worked, so they had yeah. an ordinary yeah. first 20 minutes and an ordinary last 20 minutes. And, and in between they – Fremantle are the do? worst and can, starting side in the AFL. I can see something – We've said that. The mm. first nine weeks, I don't think yeah, they won a quarter. Correct. The first quarter. They've won one in like 19 or yeah. something. Yeah. And there's going to be a pattern here evolving. This man is going to be – he's a gun football, I think. Eight touches for the whole day, Jackson. Yeah, well. He's been all right, though, last no, no, few no. weeks. Yeah, Good football. What I'm saying consistent. is – No, no, no. I, you, I don't know if you want to call it that, but I'm saying they're going to heavily – they are heavily rely on 100%. him. 100%. Massive. But what's that tell you? Wouldn't you want to get Luke Jackson one out? So yeah, I would. Agree. Quick. Yeah, I agree. So instead of slow football agree. and nine players and all these you know, uh, Bulldogs backs come and punch – Hey, get him one out. He, he's capable of beating most players take in the AFL. Frio's game plan, like you said, it doesn't, doesn't work. Doesn't help. Okay, Not just that. that. You're right. What you're saying. I don't know if you mentioned it about the intensity. The intensity was poor early. Mm. Then they thought, oh shit, we better wake up here. Yeah, yeah. they got going a, a little bit. But then bit. in the last 15 minutes or whatever it was, 20 minutes, just shot. When the game was there to be won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bel- midfield. Bontepalli, like you said, and Libba. Libba was good all day. Off he's- but Bontepalli, when it was there to be won. Yeah, I you agree. Can see, he just got the ball out. They didn't get it. Yeah, but you know what? 
I tell you, there's one bloke that never gets a mention on the on here. We don't really mention this bloke, but we should. No, I used to be the same thing. Big deal. For the Off half back, Bailey Dale. Oh, Bailey. Yeah, his start. usage of the football is very, it's very good. It is ninety percent of the time. Yeah, it he is. got twenty five touches, and I reckon twenty of those were effective. Honestly, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm just making a statement yeah. there, but I'm saying he's effective, and we don't really talk about him. But he, no, we don't. He sets all, them up. Mate. He sets them up. You know what I mean? Yep. But yeah, Freo, I'm with you, Freo. Yeah, they're very poor football team, Freo. Oh, I. I can't handle watching them, I'll be honest. Well, they won't, I don't think they'll play they finals. Not good enough, And man. even if they do, they... No, you're right. You're right. They're not good enough. They're just not. They're just not. Anyway. Saturday, Twilight, Heritage Bank Stadium. I'll put my hand up. <laughs> I just do what he does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Collingwood 5... Sorry. Gold Coast 5, 12, 42. Collingwood 18, 12, I'll 120. <laughs> right. Uh, we did say... Let's refresh. We talk. I said, let's talk about this game next week because we were a little bit up in the air. About oh, I said no problem. You said no. Nah, and I said no him. problem. I apologise. Thank you. We both said whacking. Whackings. We both said ten goals. Yeah. No, oh, no, I didn't say ten. I just said a whacking. I didn't say ten. Okay. Goals. I apologise. You'll find out. I got something. What's to say. Sunday? Maybe tomorrow that Stuart Jew won't have a job because oh. he can't have a job, mate. He can't. No. No, no. Can't. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> no. Do, you have, do, you, do you have anything else to say about that game? <laughs> yeah, you can't have a job Any, okay. and trade Matt Rowe. Matt Rowe. Oh, <laughs> Did you just go Matt Rowe? Well, Matt Rowe. There's, half, half there's, 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 there's only half of Heritage Stadium oh, left. No, no, no. I'm not going down that here road. Here we go. Anyway. All the palm trees were gone. <laughs> not one Stop. palm tree in McCrara when they drove in. <laughs> they got what's going He's on like here. a dog in the car. <laughs> like, trying to bite. <laughs> no more. No, no more. No more. Date guy, 60 possessions between them. Again. Who? Date guy, right? Good man. Now, may I present to you the 2023 Premiers. No more to say. Done? Done. That's my take on it. Nothing else. I don't have to say anything. Done. 2023 what? Premiership Cup will take be- Take it down to- Victoria Park. Basketball or, trophies and or, start yep, engraving the cup. Engrave it now. Just yep. gave them a plug and I don't know who they are. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I'm not sure if you guys agree, but it's done for me. Nah, you can talk done. to me about Port Adelaide, talk to me about uh, Melbourne. It's not Sorry. done, but they should win it. It should. Not, but they, it's not done. It's not done. Darcy and Moore. I don't know if they can win it. Darcy Moore, Dake. Are you? Yeah, but it's not about individual He's players. He's been ill. He's been ill. <laughs> right? He's been ill. I don't know if these tablets have got stuff. Yeah, we'll blur that out. Come on. What's wrong with that? Did you tell him the scores? I did, but he, did. he put his hand up. Oh, okay. Because that's, that's a hiding. It is a hiding. And all jokes aside now, I know we've been that, – that's my take on it, honestly. They're, they're the premise for me. You're, you're doubting it. You're actually yeah, doubting it. Yeah, I am. Why? Because you know what? He's doubting it from last year when they won those. He's going on about those games Oh, no, year, no. Right? He can't do that. No, no, no it's not about that. They're, 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 they're doing it again this year, again. Getting out of jail every time. They, when need, they, need, they need players back. They need side bottom back. That's the okay. Goey. They yeah. need to go. The goey's back this week. Yeah, yeah, I know, but that's what I'm just saying. And I'll right. smack the dogs, by the way. Anyway, that's another story. Oh, later. look, oh, don't get me wrong. I'd like to see him win. I think they can win the flag. Mm. Just yeah. So who's going to be the challenger then? The way you're talking, who's the challenger? Well, there, was a, there was a side that played last night. That oh, I, I could, could almost score. let's be honest. I could almost claim what you just claimed by then with Port. Oh almost. no, no, Angelo. Mm. You know when the, the Melbourne Slightly. Cricket Ground on Grand Final day. Yeah, but Ports one, two, and anyway, one out the G. Exactly. This is another story, but anyway, that's just my take on that game. If anyone else has got anything, oh, by, by all means, fair enough. I, and least. you're probably not even sticking your neck out. No, I'm not. No, no you I, know, realistically, I, you're not. No, I think this says more about Gold Coast than Collingwood. I think. I think he's right. Perhaps. Perhaps we know how good Collingwood is. No, because we know. Let's not forget, or let's bring up that I think they are horrendous. Collingwood kicked the first. Can someone help me? Five goals, four goals, Five. something like that. No, nah, wasn't it more? Wasn't it 13 goals to one at one stage or something like that? Yeah, but something they kicked the first. Oh, sorry. Well, yeah, the first, five, no, the, 15 the first 15 of the one, first 16. Yeah, some old, some old, yeah oh, I don't know if it was that was, much, but yeah. they were like 10 goals up. With yeah. blink 10 of goals an to eye. one. Something yeah. like that. Yeah, blink of an that's eye. That's bad. They'll never, they'll never close kick goal. Never, gonna, never in it. Well, that's bad considering two weeks ago we were talking about Gold Coast. You yeah. were here on that episode. And they got to the bye and they had a really good win against... They were six and eight, and I said, gee, you know. Hmm. No, sorry, they were six and six, and they had Hawthorne and Carlton. They got Carlton. smacked by Carlton. I said, they could be eight yeah. and six, but in the end, well, no, they didn't no, They didn't so do that. Some of the transition from, from back line to forward line, Collingwood was 
tremendous. I know either goal crash is that bad, I don't know. But the transitioning from back on to forward line, just over the top for easy goals. It was like training. Yeah. It was beautiful to watch when you I, when it was just spot on. The the, the I know kicking, the positioning, about. there's about yeah, four watched, goals like yeah, that. Yeah. But I, again, I don't get me wrong, Collingwood great. They do it a lot. I know, yeah, I know what you're saying. But it says more about Gold Coast not being ready for it. They're yeah, poor. No, like, exactly. Seriously, you've got seven days to be ready for that, right? And don't, um, don't tell oh, me. Yeah. No, as in, the coaches know that. I watch the transition. Watch the quick handball, the fling, right? Watch no that. So to just stand there and let it, and watch it happen almost, it's disgusting. Gee, they, don't remind, think, me, gee, they remind me of Richmond in their premiership years with that, that type yeah, of footy. Yeah, they probably do. They'd be, clean. be cleaner than Richmond, they I agree. Cleaner. Richmond won't say clean, but they're just that dusty. But are we talking about the team that's first and potential... Premier mm. ship favourites versus a team that's but but this, uh, he's the problem. 14th? He's the problem. Isn't that what should be happening when I agree. I'll go yeah, go on. But but enough's enough for Gold Coast. Like they get draft picks, they get play they sign all these players and they go nowhere. It's fo- every year's false hope. But two weeks I, ago we we're saying they're in a good place. Exactly. And where are they now? Well they they're falling over against the best side so of the club. It, so they won't play finals again, oh. right? Any chance they have. They won't right? play this year, but Right. So it's been twelve years now. Like and Look, enough's enough for Gold Coast. I just think, mate, get rid of him. No, well, that's, it, it didn't work. Okay. No, yeah, get rid of him. But it's not going to happen. Bring Tasmania in. Have 18. You don't okay, know well, that's logistical for the average mug oh, like you and I. I'll say this. Do what go, really go, should happen? Sorry, Vic. Yeah, no, you're good. What really should happen? Well, Because you know that's not going to happen. The AFL fund that team, mm-hmm. right? It's okay. their baby. What really should happen? They're artificially inseminated. Yeah, it's true. What really should happen is the AFL should get serious yeah. and put a proper coach and a proper team around them okay. out there. Not Stuart Jew and Reece Shaw, these Muppets. <laughs> Reece Shaw. Reece Shaw. <laughs> these Muppets. He's a development coach, is he? Yeah, development might. Let's not let go there. That, I'm glad you said that answer because yeah. you know, no, getting should rid happen. of the Tasmanian just, things. I'm just frustrated. Yeah, right? but I, I, I know what you mean now. I just wanted to ask you what you thought. Go, okay, this should be a good contest. They're playing at home, right? I said that they could win because I thought, okay, here's a test, right? Mm. Now, they could have lost by 17 points. Everyone would have gone, geez, that was a that good effort. Crack. Mm. Oh, good. Yeah. Colin, we know they're the benchmark, right? They didn't even lift a finger. Okay. What were you going to say? Yeah, I, I was going to say, frustrating. I've had, I'll tell you what I've had enough of, and there's no more excuses for this. Rao, Lacocious, Anderson. Anderson Maybe one or two more. King. King. There's no more excuses, mate. You know, no, young, that's young right. Young, young, young. No, no, that's mate. Right. No. no, mate. I want to see something. you got Charlie Ballard, who's he's come, he's gun. Half back, whatever, intercepts. He's come of age. He's moved on to the next level. What is like, everyone talks about how good Anderson Lacocious, I think it's Lacocious' disposal. So? But, mm. but that's great. Pro- that's all in great. Yeah. You've got to be in games, mate. I agree. The but, VFL team's on top of the ladder. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. awesome. So that's awesome. I'm actually gonna. <laughs> I'm talking about their depth. No, no. What depth? I know. So senior so, players. So you get, you are go, playing in a second you tier. You go get a third rubbish year old competition. Levi Casbolt, right? Who was well, delisted, right? Get him and maybe I'll try. You're paying six hundred grand. He's playing in the VFL. He's playing in the VFL. That's incredible. Is that is that a proper football club? No, I agree. Now I, agree. I don't care anyway. good or bad maybe our trial is, but you've paid him six hundred thousand dollars. That's right. You've committed to him. Mm. So you think you he's, got, him. he's got something, right? Yeah. You've got to play him. You can't play that bloke. Hey, he can't be any worse than second. Levi Casbolt. Let me tell you. No, he's not. Or he's certainly not. Anyway. King with Ben King with it. Anyway. Let's, let's spend let's more, move on. Let's spend more time, way too much on, time on, on the next that. game. A great game of footy. Essendon 10 14 74. Lost to Port Adelaide 11 12 78. Uh, Dan Houston, 55 metre kick goal. Become the 57th player in history to kick a goal after the siren. Mm. He Great stat. Port Adelaide's fourth in history. Do we know the other three? Uh, hang on. Yep. Peter Burgoyne. One. Jeez, Peter Burgoyne one. was in 2000 versus Carlton at Football Park. No, nah, I've just seen who they You've are. You've just seen them? I you don't know. remember them? There's one guy I know of him, but he's no one I've ever heard of no, him. No, Jared Poulton. That's him. Against Sydney in 2002. That was the SCG. I do remember that. But you should remember, both of you should remember the 2021. And you oh, should. yeah, I do now. Now that you've seen it, yeah, I know exactly when the min- beautiful from the boundary. Oh yeah, right? it was um, Robert number Gray, nine. Number correct? Nine, yeah. Robert Gray, Robbie Gray at, at the Gabba. The, at the Gabba, it was no one the, was um, there. Great kick was no, there was some people there. Was there? Right? Yeah, yeah, boundary yeah. line. Yeah, on the fifty meter eight. line, it was an incredible kick. Yeah, it was a great kick. So anyway, he becomes I'll... the fourth in history. Um, a couple of things: Nick Martin's lazy clearance when he scrambled the ball oh, out, yeah, which ended up resulting in the goal. Inexperienced kid. That's what it I was. Guess. That's what it was. I think, no, you know, an experienced bloke would probably have a thought process a little bit differently. Yeah, yeah. He probably didn't. And that's yeah, okay. That that's okay. Though, I mean, um, yeah, okay. Jai Cordwell's goal to put him in front was superb. Jesus. Brilliant. It was superb. Brilliant. Um, 
anything else that you wanted to add, or has it got a couple of things? Well, West, Port was 17 points up with seven minutes to go, so it was a big last seven minutes by Essendon. Boston, yeah. That's true, but you know in the first quarter, they could have shot themselves in the foot and they kicked two seven Port. They did. Right, and that could yeah. have been just about game over. Yep. Mm. Um, and I thought when the rain came, Essen handled it better. Absolutely. Yeah, right? they, they did. They started to play wet weather footy and Port, but Port's resilience. But then again, I'm just going to say this. Rosie, three goals, 22 touches. Rosie and Butters. Yeah, but Butters and Fa- – sorry, Rosie kicked three goals. Butters and Farrell had 52 possessions between them. Throw in and I'll, and I'll, I'll tell you something. Ah, he's good. I'll, his usage of the football is – I said, how do you let him – Oh, okay. I'll, throw, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll raise you – what's that saying in cards? Yeah, hey, but I'll Houston, raise you. Houston was another Before one. I'll raise you yeah, 32 Houston touches. And, and who's, who's the next one? No, I want to just stay on Kane Farrell, who we don't talk about much like we don't yeah. do with Bailey – Dale? Yeah, yeah, Bailey Dale's just saying Bailey Williams then. <laughs> yeah. Or the Richmond guy, uh, number 15. Bailey Scott. Jaden Short. Jaden Short. Um, 13 intercept marks, which Hell. is a high. Farrell. Right, Kane Farrell. He's not even And 10 points. score involvements and mm. Port Adelaide kicked 11, 12. Yeah, that's, that's incredible. incredible. So he had 10 scoring involvements out of 23. That's mm. quite staggering. I yeah, thought Aaliyah Ali was nearly the villain for the night. Some oh, of the things he did. Yeah, you know, as soon, as the, wet, as, soon as the wet weather came, though, yeah, he was, but I know what you mean. He Just was, the wet weather, he started to fumble, bumble. Yeah, but then again, the big, oh, like yeah, that big, big in the game, rain, exactly. he was pouring. And it was that skinny yeah, yeah, rain that. Yeah. Just makes things worse. But, and but, then Redmond at the other end, I thought was. I was going to bring up a couple of things great. about Essendon. <clears throat> Heppel, I think, has been better since he's not captain. Yeah. Took um, a couple of important marks at the end. Langford, very good up forward, mate. He's good. How good is he? This bloke here, this bloke here, I know you're going to think I'm, I'm being biased, right? But I'm not, and you'll agree. Stringer doesn't do enough for me. No, he didn't last night. No, no, no. No, no, in general. Does he do enough? Um, no, he, he does enough for his for what he's there his for. age and what he's there for. He's, and there, he's, he's, age, he's only 29. Yeah, he's Probably an impact yeah. player. He's an impact. That's they exactly know what he is. They know what he is. What are we expecting from him? Yeah, what do you expect? 30 touches. No, I mean, look, like, without. But everyone carries on the package like he's a match winner. No, no, no. There's one clown that does that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's true. But no one else. Yeah, they will carry. Well, anyway. But I just think he doesn't do enough for for his. You know the way they talk. Oh, he breaks. Look, breaks games open. This and that. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. They don't know what they're talking about. He could never play again. Wouldn't make a difference to us. No. And no. There's, there's, we spoke about Corwell. Very good. Parish was good at great. And I'll tell you what. There's one kid in that side who's going to be a bloody good player if he's not already Hobbs. Hmm. Yeah. Told you yep. six weeks ago. I love what Essendon's got, their kids. I love it. Yeah, Hobbs, good. Cordwell, Martin. Mate, they've got some good kids. You questioned it. You said I, these little nah, I questioned. Whatever. I questioned four blokes with the same height and size. Yeah, okay. Guelphy, Derham, Snelling, mm-hmm. Menzies, and there's another one there. Mm-hmm. They're all and they're the all same young, height right? and weight. Is that Menzies' godson? It Red could be. <laughs> Probably. They're all the same height and weight. I agree, but they do their, all, they do their little bit. They're role players. Yeah, they're fair enough. And I just... Jeez, I, I like it. Like Peter Wright didn't kick a goal. Again. No, no, but, beat, but, yeah. the, the night just didn't. <coughs> no, no, I know, but he didn't kick it. Like no. he could have maybe kicked mm. a goal or something. But jeez, uh, they were impressive. We called it. We said that they'd win. And but, who Essendon? Yeah, we said last yeah, week and, the, and last the, week. Oh yeah, I thought you were talking watching it live. Or no, whatever. no, no. Even then, I thought I was actually I was spewing when he kicked the goal, Dan Houston. Yeah, like, like it was good that he kicked it, but I wanted Essendon to win because I just thought. Oh, it's a big effort because we said it they were gone. Huge, they were gone. It was a huge comeback. We said they're, they're they up were gone. You're right. Said, so I'll tell you a funny thing. About an hour before the game, I went out and grabbed a bite to eat, and I had it on SCN. And I don't know who was on there, but they said they t- they started talking about the Essen this game, right? And they said, um, "These are the Essen type games that they win. They do, and it's true. It's, it's true. true. We said that happened, right? I agree. And that's why, not because they're better than Port. They're nowhere near Port Adelaide at the moment, but. MCG night game. Yeah, crowds, absolutely. Crowds. If it was that Marvel crowd. would have been worse. Yeah. And one more. One more thing. I just want to say. I could talk a hundred things about last night's I game. I know. I got, a, I got a question mark on one bloke and the decision making on this and getting him. Wiedemann. Yeah. Can't kick. Yeah, Horrendous. Yeah, Cannot kick. Horrendous kick. Hands are okay. Just Dude. I don't know. I just don't know. But uh, to go and get a twenty-five year old like that, you think oh, maybe. take a punt? Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of clubs think that they can fix him. Oh, he'll fit now. Yeah, right? maybe, maybe. And it probably hasn't worked, and that's the end of it. They need another. They need some help. Do you reckon that's it? Right? It hasn't worked. Yeah, I just don't. Fair think, enough. I, I don't think. Like, no, I don't think he so. was never like a. a, 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 a v- <laughs> he wasn't even handy at Melbourne. You know? No, let's be honest. No, right? you're so, right. He didn't show anything no, at Melbourne. But, uh, but he comes over with a massive. They can get pushed out because you know they had Tom McDonald, they had Ben Brown, yeah, and Bailey Fritch. Yeah, they 
they won the flag. That's right. Like, they didn't need him. That's right. right. Yeah, it's true. So, a team like Essen, who don't have many forwards, nah. like big forwards, yep. let's have a crack at yeah. it. You know? It was a night of a lot of, like, I worked the oh, night, so I had the pleasure of having, mm. a, you know, the front row seat. But there was a lot of oddities two minutes before the bounce. Uh, hang on, hang on. I was going to say, tell us the story. And Incredible. We've spoken about Where's this. Dante? Where is he? Yeah, Dante. tell us the story about Dante. Not DiVincenzo. So Scott, NBA. What's Scott his name? Dante Vis, Vis, Vicente. Cause Vicente. I'll tell you, you think he was a triple brown man. That's the way uh, oh. Darcy was going on about him. He said his name more times than Greg Williams getting 53 possessions. He was a carryover traveling player, not right. emergency. Oh, what well, was he the emergency? Was the car- well, they, did, you, they didn't use any of the emergencies. Because of the, the Ruckman. Oh, because yeah. of the Ruckman. Yeah, okay. So it was a Ruckman. How can you not know that what his name was not right? No, they didn't. Well, I Scott, like I said, got in, injured in the warm-up. In the warm-up. But the latest head. injury you could possibly imagine. Yeah. So he's gone off. AFL officials with clipboards and they're all just doing all this sort of stuff. And Essendon's said oh, – sorry, Port said, look, he's done. We have to withdraw him. And it was close to the, no, you can't, he's out. He's done mm. and you can't be replaced. Oh, right, okay. But the AFL, obviously, they've done the paperwork. Yep. And they've said, who are you bringing in? And he goes, well, we're bringing in a kid that's sitting in the stand that's our travelling emergency. He hasn't played a game of footy before. Didn't even couldn't even get his family to the ground. <laughs> no, I know. Uh, luckily, they lived in. Who did he play for? Where's Sandringham. Where's he from? Where's Sandringham from? Dragons. Oh, right. Okay. So, all right, kid, let's do your warm up and that sort of stuff. And fifteen minutes later, he's running around playing an AFL game of footy, three hot dogs, and, and four dim sims I, I, I don't in his know belly. If he was playing. He oh, he's having there. a crack at a bloke. No, I said, Jesus. Yeah, this is the, can so, I just because it's in my mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. that was harsh. It, the AFL. Sorry, Port Adelaide wanted him to be the sub, but the AFL said if you make him the sub, you've made a sub. Lice set. Ah, okay. So enough. what you got to do is sacrifice for 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, okay. Your fourth interchange player. Yep. Got it. And then you keep your sub. Okay. And then they subbed right. him anyway, or, you know, yeah. subsequently. So they couldn't use him as a sub because I was thinking at the time, not Put a problem. He's a sub. Yeah. He's a sub. Where, where but they, they couldn't. Yeah. The rules didn't allow that. I thought that was fascinating. Mm. Oh, it was. All within five minutes of the bounce. He's going to town on this poor kid. No, Are you no, serious? No. All I said. What do you want from him? No, no, no. I Mate, just, what? He should have been playing basketball. He was horrendous. He was horrendous. Ah, oh, you no, good, no, on, the, good on the kid. <laughs> you <laughs> blokes are out of your mind. He was so, minus 15 in the rankings in 10 minutes. Come on, I said mate. To him, <laughs> I said to him, right, he's like, oh, it's his first game. Look at the circumstances. I said, mate, if that was me. I'd be going, beauty. I can't wait to get out there and play. But and trot like he was hopeless. He was. Come on. <laughs> He's hopeless. All right, Ange. All right, Ange. So I'll give you a scenario. So you're coaching where you coach your assistant, blah, blah, yeah. blah. North ring you and go, mate, we've exhausted all. We've got nothing, mate. You need to come this week and coach the boys' okay. training. No, no. No, hear me out. Yeah. Coach the boys' training. And you're going to be on match day in that box, mate. You figure it out. Figure it out. Yeah, no problem. What are you going to do? Well, I'll have a crack, of course. Exactly. Right. But you're going to be out of my depth. You're going to shit yourself, right? I would. I'll be out of my depth. That's my point. Absolutely. This kid, in probably 10 games' time, is going to be a different player. (laughs) He's never not played a game of football before. (laughs) It's true. He's He's never coached. It's like as if he was a prize winner off the street. We need a player. (laughs) Let's just go. And. Dante. I'll give you a word. I think it was just overwhelmed. Didn't no, expect you're it. You're spot on. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Possibly. He didn't expect it. He's like, I'm playing. No, what? We're not. What do we're I do? Not having oh, a, we're I not guess. having a go at you. I, I think what was. was uh, oh, I know what you're going to say. You know what I think it is? I think it's just the error we're in. I, know, I thought you were going to say something else. I think it's you know, that. I just think it's that's what it requires to, to prepare play a yourself yeah. to play a game. Ranky, of you're saying you should have been mentally ready. The bloke was sitting in the stand. Probably on his social media, yeah, yeah. eating hot dogs, dim sims, thinking, well, this is all right. When the game oh, finishes, I go down the rooms, yeah. I get in the team bus with everyone, go back to the hotel. Yeah. Remember, what a great little visit this has been for yeah, me. I remember. Next minute, he's playing that's what on mean. Peter Wright. That's true. That's and Peter I mean. Wright, when he ran on the ground, God, they didn't show it on TV, probably. Probably not. But no. Because of the view I had, he's run on, and the instruction, Peter Wright just looked at him and said, Take, come with me to the goal square, son. And that was it. Nothing happened because the ball didn't come yeah, down. Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking, Oh, dear. Oh, take this mark, first yeah. contest didn't happen. So I remember um, about eight years ago in the Carlton-Richmond final, Nick Dogan was eating pies in the stand. 
and came in and kicked four goals. Did. Was he like, first game. No, he a late Dygan inclusion? Had, Nick Dygan. Yes. Yeah, but Nick Dygan. Had, what he kicked four that yeah. day? But Nick Dygan had played a lot of footy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I know. It wasn't his first game. I've got a good story. But well, even still, he wasn't He wasn't really the player, right? He was oh, eating pies. Yeah, I know, but nah. I'll, I'll defend him. 2000 and. I'll defend him. When I was at North, I can't remember. The, 2008, 9, 10. I can't remember exactly. Yeah. I think. Oh, well, Brad Scott was coaching. And Daniel Wells did a hamstring against Essendon in a Friday night yeah. game in the warm up. And we didn't use, couldn't use our emergencies. No, sorry, the emergencies were already upstairs. And they had to use, they decided to use David Hale. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. I remember and that. They called David Hale. And I think he didn't answer his phone. No, he was upstairs eating. Eating and all that. True story. And they got a great man in John Lamont at the time, he was a development coach, to get out of the box, get downstairs. I think Darren Buick might have helped. Go find him. Go and find him and get him dressed. Jeez. And David, and it, David Hale played. That day, in the they were aligned in with Port Bedford. Melbourne. How did he go? Do you know? Uh, I can't remember. Did North win? North did win that night. That, did I they? do remember that. But he'd already played a VFL game that day. Yeah, That's incredible. So he'd cooled down, stretched, yeah, iced. Tough. Yeah. Went Actually, it might not have even been an emergency. It might have been the carryover. Oh, that's yeah. tough. And they've, yeah, that's they've tough. paid the fine. Yeah. And he's had to play yeah. minimal. And that was the days of the subs. So yeah. he got subbed eventually. Imagine that, cooling down. No, no. Yeah, cooling down. He's oh, played the game. He's played a game of footy. So, moral of the story, Dante, there's no excuse for <laughs> No, Dante, I'll stick up for you. Don't worry about these two, mate. Don't worry about him. <laughs> he's going to have a jumper with 42 on it next week. No doubt. Like 38, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Does it matter? He's ever going to play again? We'll never forget of course Dante Viserius or Viscarius. Viscarius. Or, I don't even know how to pronounce Let's his name. move on, Victorious. mate. We've talked too much about them. And he's, that game. Anyway. So today at the MCG, Hawthorne, 7-10-52, lost to Carlton, 17-10-112. Next. Not much to say. I've got a couple nothing. of things if you want to hear oh, I'll just make it quick, mate, because that was a terrible game of football. I've got eight nothing goals, to say about Eight it. goals up at half time, one by ten. Foot off the gas, question mark. Hawks had a crack second half, question mark. Kernan McKay kicked five between them. No Jeff, no Sicily. Should have been ten or more, and I'm not joking. Right, they were horrendous, Hawthorne. Um, just the usual, Chera, Acres, Doctor, you all had good days. Cripps and Walsh running around. Cripps was running around like a Brownlow medalist today because he had nothing to worry about. No yeah. one to worry about. Yeah, he's right. Nothing much has to say. But they should have kicked 10 between them, those two. Yep. Yeah. I hope they move on to from this one. Kerno McCoy, five. Kick five. Between, between, them. between them. Okay. Yeah. Nothing and, for you uh, to Oh, I'll add. just add Harry McCoy should – um. no, he shouldn't because he won't. But the coach should sit him in the VFL next week. He had a shot oh around the God. corner. I oh, did 20, it again, did he? 22 metres out. Yeah, he didn't make the distance. Straight no, no, no. Front. didn't make the distance. He did not oh, make the straight distance. Straight up. No, no, no. No, no. Kicked around the corner, straight in front. And chipped it straight to the defender. We are watching it together. Yeah, hey, okay. And I said watching. to him, surely kick a drop punt here. I know he's happy with the around the corner kick. And he goes, yeah, drop punt from here, all right? Around the corner. And you know what happened? Did not even make the – didn't right. miss. Didn't make the distance. Incredible. How do you – how does NFL, how do you uh, put up with that as a coach? He shot. As, as a, a coach, head, sorry. As a coach, how do you put up with it? Oh, one of you already just said before, playing the in the reserves. You I need to be questioned. In the but That's the thing excuse. is, right, you're right. Someone at that club, okay, McCoy, can, ago, no more, we've said weeks yeah, ago, no, no, we're more. About, yeah, no more. We were talking about uh, weeks ago about one of the, a player for Carlton asked to go to another motel. Remember that? Oh, the And you said, oh, how dare a player do it? And I said, well, well, how dare someone at the club even contemplate yeah, that? Because yeah, Because I'm sure there's a million questions that players want. Yeah. This is the same. Yeah. No more. No more. You can't exactly. be kicking them. Someone <laughs> higher up should be <laughs> saying, true. no more. No more. Dennis Pagan should get on the phone and go, no more. No more. No more. No more. That's it. That's, that's a fact. So, yeah. And just, just quickly, expected result in the end, let's be honest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Don't I Don't be agree. surprised yeah. by it. Anyway. Who's surprised by it? No. So, um, Alice Springs... TIO Stadium at 3.20 today. Was there a game, was it? There was a game. Now, I'll, I'll apologise, and I'm Can, sure just, the two of you... Just tell the score. I don't care about the game. I just want to know the score. Can you Melbourne 5, 15, 45. <laughs> in the wet, lost to GWS 7, 5, 47. GWS kicked a late one in the end that went 60 metres and skittled through, yep. and then they defended. See my notes there? Can you, can you tell what, what, what do my notes say? <laughs> yeah, they're my notes. No, no, no. <laughs> can you, what do my notes say? Yuck. <laughs> why are we playing Firstly, games up there? Yeah, well, why? Why? We, why, Vito? Why? We're not You're very knowledgeable. The, it's crazy. 
not we're not very knowledgeable in the weather up there because we said it was no. going to be forty degrees. But then <laughs> during the week, I heard that there was snow up on the hills up there or whatever what? mountains they got. Not Ayers Rock, but but I'll cop that. But it was eleven degrees today mm. in the daytime. So. We've totally. Freezing. We've got it wrong. We've got yeah. it wrong. It's oh. not thirty degrees during the day, because we questioned it was a three twenty yeah. game. Yeah, but I'll cop that because you can't predict nah. the, the thing eight weeks out, right? The weather. But why? Well, you think Alice Springs hasn't had eleven degrees in no, no, July? No, maybe for the last one thousand yeah, years. But that's irrelevant. Why are we playing there? Okay. Is there a reason why? Is there a reason why promoting the game? I suppose promote to what six hundred people that went. That's true. There was no yeah. one there. Like, are they serious? No, I agree with that. Proper, he's right, he's right. I'll tell you what proper leagues do. I'll tell you, like, if the Premier League had a game in Australia, they would sell the MCG four times over. Yeah, right? 100%. If the NBA had a game in Australia, they'd sell the MCG four times over, right? Proper. Pro- you want to promote the game, don't send it to Alice Springs, mate. He's got a point. Let me tell you. They're playing, it in, all the, they're playing it all in all the centres. We know that. They're playing Why? one or two. So Melbourne, two, who... Are, a, a probably a no chance, yeah. no chance of winning the premiership now. They've the lost a game right? of footy, yeah, on venue, right? On, almost on venue, hundred percent. It's their home game. That's played here. It doesn't matter where it's played. They even if it was G W, if it was played in uh, yeah, Marvel, Sydney, they'd oh. probably win. Yeah, or yep. whatever. Not not in that slop there. That's it rubbish, was a paddock. Mate. That's that's crap. But I'm, saying I'm that day, saying that they cannot. Fair just, point. Twenty I'm, I'm twenty serious. shots for goal, Melbourne. Yeah. yeah, but look and at the conditions. I understand. You can't. But they did chance. They lost Fritch early. They were 20 points down. But they lost Fritch yeah. early. Yeah. I understand It's that. a big loss. Come oh, on. He's I, their probably best goal kicker they've got. Okay. Honestly. Let's talk about the context of that game. That's a big loss by Melbourne. Yeah, bad. It's a real bad loss. It is, and that's on the AFL. That, that's crap, mate. Uh, you know what? Melbourne, I'd be going. Do you, Simon, do you Simon think Goodwin we shouldn't be having anyway. any games of football in Alice Springs, Canberra, We shouldn't Cairns. be having. You know when we should be having those games? If you want to play practice matches at the start of the season. Good point. Mate, play them all up there. I couldn't give a stuff. If you're going to play four, four for po- four points, yep. do not play in these rubbish stadiums, right? Well, gather around different because they all went up there. Yeah, right? yeah. I get it. So if it was raining all weekend, it was raining all, all right. weekend. Yeah. I get it. Right? Yeah, I don't, like it. Don't I, send I agree two with teams. You. I like it to the other side of the world, basically, right? To play for premiership points. Yeah, no, you spot does that on. Go, does that go for Manuka Honey as well? <laughs> so, <laughs> not really. Vanuka's no. Hunt has been very well, they, good to me this week, Vanuka. Yeah, it does help. They've played a few games there, right? They've played over the years. I still don't think they should play there because I don't see the purpose yeah. of it, right? If we're serious, what? Okay. First and foremost, if you're going to play at these rubbish stadiums, make sure they've got a roof over them. Oh, yeah. We're in 2023. You can't put a roof over a ground that's going to get used. I know. So then Spend don't all play, that money. So then don't play the there. Question that's is, my point. Yeah, the question is, if you're we serious, play, like, why has Marvel Stadium got a roof? Because it's, mate, because mm. you know you get a contest, a proper contest every time. Uh, MCG, if it rains, it rains. There'll be a roof so on the G within five years, I guarantee you. Anyway, that. but look, but my point is. The I question is, there must be, that. there must be money involved. Oh, of course there's money. Of course there's money involved. Government's involved. involved. Stick your neck out. Feed so unless there's $100 million, they're kidding themselves. Well, I don't it. know what the money is. Because I reckon there'd be no more than a couple hundred thousand dollars. But the people that lose out are you, because you're yeah. pissed. And oh, Melbourne's well, Melbourne. got to go up and Melbourne. lose a game yeah, of footy. It's cost them a game and it cost, could cost it them has. whatever it costs them. But anyway. It's rubbish. It has. But anyway. And the last game of the round, West Coast, 12-5-77, lost to St Kilda, 12-13-85. You are kidding. I can't you, believe that. You, I can't believe that. Can I just that. say, Give I actually, spell, I actually thought West Coast were going to win that say game. Say what you really said off of you. Give me a spell. Hey, you're kidding, aren't you? So... They were three goals. I know it's not a lot, but they were three or four goals up at one stage, West Coast. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it looked like they're going to run over, run over the top. 24 points at halftime. Was yeah. it? Is that what it was? 24, yeah. yeah. They started you, well. They came out with a like, grunt. They they came out like the old West you know, Yeah, the old, the old West crack. Coast at home. Crack. But how are you not prepared for that, St. Kilda? You knew this was the oh, was not in <laughs> He was prepared for it. He was said, he? we're up for a battle this week. Uh, <laughs> Josh Brother? He said that. He uh, goes, we're up for a battle this what week. What did Simo say? Oh, that, I can't do a Simo, but we're up for. he said we're up for a battle this oh, week. He's still and about there's still a 4 L flight before us. Uh, oh, the crap. Give me a spell. He I, knew this was coming. Hmm. Of course he did. Yeah, of course I'm going to. Mate, they were embarrassed. They were scrutinised. They were everything last yeah, week, yeah. West Coast, and so they should have been, yeah. right? Yeah. Of course they're going to come out breathing fire at home in front of their supporters. Mm. Hey, they wouldn't dare mm. lose by 20 goals this week. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Dare. On the broadcast, uh, Matthew Pavlich said 
the he showed the back of the. Uh, he's tremendous, Pavo, when he's talking. He's tremendous. He's good, isn't he? They showed the back of the uh, West Australian paper, and they said boycott the first quarter. I heard that. And he said oh, there's only about twenty thousand here. Why would Pretty you bo- good. Why would, 20, you boycott, why would you boycott the first no, quarter? Because I was just sick of like you know the excuses. And well, it's like eight goals to zero all the time. Eight goals yeah, to yeah, one. Yeah, like I get it, but but geez. You would have wanted to show up that first quarter. Yeah, right, to, yeah to they started that, well. You know. They played well. and They played all right, yeah. You, you're kidding me. Eight points. And it took them to what, the, the last, last quarter. Yeah, last so quarter to be on top of them. But still, they'll still rely on in the old stages, Shuey. Mate, you can sing this song. Fine. That's we're fine. That's fine. Because they're in a world of hurt. And Shuey Gaff. The old Gipper gave one again. But you know what? One for the old Gipper. I'll tell you who's a star. <laughs> I'll tell you who's a star, mate. Oscar <laughs> Allen's a star. He is. And Darling still can hold his own. If Oscar Allen was playing for Collingwood Carlton. Oh, oh. I said two years ago, oh. three years ago. Could you imagine? I'd trade Cripps for him and he said that. Petrocelli. I remember right? you said three that. Three years ago. Gee, that was still in the 70s, Petrocelli. The <laughs> cop, <laughs> you're the movie. biggest Afro copper. He's like this. <laughs> <laughs> they remember Petrocelli. Oh, yeah, I do. What, what was that, Chips? No, uh, Petrocelli was, was called Petrocelli. Oh. Petrocelli. That's what it was 100%. called. 100%. Chips was oh. different again. Yeah, Chips was different. Yeah, I know. Chips was on the was motorbike. What were the Chips? chips. What were oh, their names? Punch. Uh, punch. Yeah, punch punch and, Puncherello or something. I don't know. Punch <laughs> and... <I'll>, uh, <laughs> Portello. <laughs> it was Punch and someone. Oh, yeah, yeah, something yeah, like that. We'll punch and Judy. <laughs> yeah, Punch and Judy. No, no. Peter Chell, do you remember the show? I do remember Peter Chell. I'm talking Chell. the okay. 70s. 70s, Channel 9, Afro. Do <laughs> you remember? Yeah, I do. You look like a Benny Hill character. No. I remember. I remember. Benny Hill. I don't remember. It's one of the greatest. Oh, yeah. But anyway, it was. Jeez, I guess they got the four points. Yeah, field, but I they did. It. I hate the way they play. They did. Yep. It's no, no. Uh, yeah. Anyway, forget it. These two are irrelevant this year. Let's be honest. Even though they secure, will probably play finals now. Probably. Which kind of? They'll get. No, oh. they will oh, no. get smacked. He'll try and play that game oh. and oh, no. play against a finals band up a fifth on the ladder or fourth. Yeah, I can't handle oh. that. Copper belting. Finals. Imagine that. Oh, I can't handle watching. But, but anyway, yeah. great effort by West Coast. Oh, I haven't got much else to say on that. To no. Be no, no, no. There you have it, our review of Round 16, and we'll see you on the next one.